Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find the most in-depth video walkarounds on our different Ford and Lincoln vehicles specific to the model and trim. We call them our complete guides because we cover all the standard equipment, all the optional equipment, different packages for each of the trim models, and even standalone options in our videos. Uh, so if you like some of that type of content, you might want to hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, you'll also get notified next time another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So in this uh, video here, we're going to cover some of the different um, major product changes from 2020 to the 2021 uh, Ford Explorer. Uh, we did, we starting to get a few of these in, so I thought now's a great time to kind of to highlight and do this type of video. Uh, so for those of the that watched my videos from 2020 model year, uh, you can watch this and see what different differences there are for this model year. Uh, we also break down each of the models and trims as we get more inventory in, uh, in the coming months. Uh, and hopefully uh, you, by 2021, we'll get most of those vehicles in and be able to do those videos for you. So uh, we're gonna talk about some different things, uh, some things that are no longer available on XLT trim, uh, some, some things on limited, that uh, there's a package now, uh, where some of those equipment was standard equipment, we're gonna cover that. We're gonna cover also some new packages, a package that was available in 2019 that was not available in the new redesign for 2020, but is now back for 2021 looks a little different than it did in 2019, but we're gonna go through all those uh, with these different changes, as well as some new colors for the 2020 model year. Let's get started. So before we dive into the uh, six major product changes, I wanna talk about the different colors. Uh, I do that every year, uh, what, the, what colors are, are no longer available, what colors are available now that are different from last year. So there are four colors that are no longer available from the 2020 model year and 2021. Uh, one of them is magnetic, not available. Your blue is not available. Uh, also your uh, rich copper tinted clear coat not available. And then also uh, silver spruce is not available. And I actually like the silver spruce, so sorry to see that one go. Uh, but three colors uh, that are new for this year, or really we've been seeing, we've seen a, uh, one of those already, the stone gray has been available in 2020 on the Super Duty, uh, now gonna be available for the Explorer. Also carbonized gray, we did see that color. Uh, a lot of the 2020 products are gonna get that color, uh, pretty much replaces that magnetic color. Uh, so you're gonna have carbonized gray uh, that is gonna be available. Also, you're gonna see the infinite blue tinted metallic clear coat. So it is an extra cost color, beautiful color. It's the color that's on this particular Explorer here on this nice XLT. Uh, so that, that's a, a new color for this year. Again, extra cost color. Let's talk about uh, product change number one I wanna talk about it has to do with the comfort package. Last year, 2020, on the XLT 200A, you could order the comfort package. And the comfort package included three heated features. You got the first row heated seats, you got second row outbound heated seats, and you received the heated steering wheel as part of that package. That package is no longer available for the XLT for the 2020 model year. Uh, but instead they've uh, done a few things. So let's talk about those three features and how they're gonna be available for the XLT for this year. So the front heated seats are now gonna be standard equipment on all XLT trims. So that's a great feature, that's it's great. They gave us those as standard equipment. Second row heated seats is not gonna be available at all on the XLT trim. You'll have to go to limited to get second row heated seats. The heated steering wheel will be available as standard equipment on the 202A equipment group. So now it's gonna be included in the 202A, giving a reason to go up to that 202A from the 200A. So uh, that's uh, those features there. We really enjoyed the comfort package. Last year, we ordered a lot of our vehicles with the 200A comfort package, and then we installed leather seats in those, and it was one of our most popular models, three rows of leather seats with heated first and second row. Uh, we love that package, we're a little, uh, a little sad to see that package go. Uh, we do know at least we get heated seats. We'll still order those leather seats for all three rows uh, for that uh, our LMP uh, Explorer, uh, but sad to see it won't have heated seats in the second row. You will need to go to the limited to get second row heated seats. We're gonna stay with uh, the XLT for change number two that I wanna talk about. Uh, and that is a, an appearance package now available on the XLT that uh, was not available last year with a new product change or a new uh, model update. 
uh, but it is back for the 2021 model year, and that's your XLT Sport Appearance Package. So uh, this is really great if somebody wants to, they don't want to spend a, a lot of money to go up to the ST, but they want a great looking vehicle, uh, then they can get this, uh, this nice appearance package. So let's cover some of the features as part of this package that is optional on your XLT. Uh, you're going to get some carbonized gray accents. So instead of magnetic, like it was in 19, this is going to be carbonized gray. Again, new color for this year. So you're going to see the lettering on the hood. So the Explorer lettering, carbonized gray. Your grill will also be carbonized gray. So the inserts as well as the mesh, every, every part of that will be carbonized gray. You love the look of the grill, by the way. Your skid plate's also down here. Uh, that is a lower part that goes underneath that bumper that's called your skid plate. That is going to be also painted carbonized gray. Upgraded with a 20 inch carbonized gray uh, alloy wheel, so great looking wheel, nice uh, carbonized painted uh, uh, gray color there uh, for this, uh, this, uh, this package. The body side lower cladding, that's what this is called right here, it's going to be molded in black, but you're going to have the carbonized gray inserts in there too to kind of give it that sport look there. You're going to also see the applique that's going to be similar to that on the back of the lift gate. This is going to be carbonized gray as well as the rear skid plate again on the lower part of that bumper uh, that will help give it that nice little accent down there too to give it a nice sport look on the outside. On the inside they have given you some different look to it. You do have what they call light slate uh, accents in here so you're going to see that on the doors as well as the inserts on the seat. So the only way you can get that, those different inserts is with this package as well as the instrument panel is going to also get that silver uh, mesh or stretch diamond is what they're calling it uh, look on the across the dash there they call that the instrument panel uh, area there applique so real nice look uh, there on the dash a little disappointed uh, for us and just our opinion here at Law MacArthur uh, that the interior instead of the light slate Usually your sport interior is a, a black or a darker interior, even gray. I think in the past it's had suede inserts. Um, so really disappointed in what they did on the interior. Like the exterior features and the look of it on the outside, but a little disappointed there. Um, we might have to, if we get this package, uh, you know, add some different custom leather seats uh, because uh, I think they've really kind of dropped the ball a little bit uh, for the interior on this one. So that is a major change number two. So we're going to move on to the limited trim when we talk about number three. Uh, now number three has to do with a, a package now that is available for the limited trim on the 300A. Also, it's going to be standard on the 301 and the 310, which is your limited hybrid. Uh, but all the features as part of this package were actually standard equipment last year on your limited. Now you have to uh, get this package to get some of those features. So let's talk about those features as part of the limited convenience package. A couple of interior features. One of them is your hands-free photo activated lift gate. So again, that was standard equipment last year, part of this package. So you just uh, give it a kick underneath and it's going to open that lift gate up. I'm giving you some images from last year. We don't have a limited in stock yet for this year. Uh, so you have a good idea what those are. Also upgraded on the mirrors. So your mirrors will be a painted black cap. You'll be a power fold feature, actually auto fold as well. So when you lock it, they're going to auto fold in. Going to have the heat feature, the security approach lamp that lights up down below. Uh, so all those features are part of that mirror. On the inside, you're going to get driver memory. Driver memory is going to include the memory for your seat, for the mirror settings, also for your power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which is also included as part of this feature. Electronically go up and down, forward and back, and can be set with your driver memory as well there. Also, power third row seat. So a 50-50 split bench seat, so you can power fold those down instead of having to use the levers and the strap system uh, to lower that down. The headrest will go down automatically for you uh, as you uh, lower that seat down using the power uh, third row seat. Also, 110 outlet also is going to be included uh, with this, uh, this package here. Again, this package is, a, uh, is going to be an optional package for the 300A for your standard, your base uh, limited trim. It's going to be included in the 301A, so if you go to 301A, you're going to get all these features as part of that, and that's pretty much your upgrade from 300 to 301. Uh, so now they're just making you go to 301 versus having it included in 300A like last year. And then it'll also be included in the 310A, which is your hybrid version of the Limited. I will automatically get this package as well. Now for number four, we're going to move on to the ST and the Platinum. Uh, not really too many changes for those models. Uh, for those trims, I should say. Uh, but a couple things, and I'm combining these two for the ST and the Platinum together because it's really the same reason that Ford's doing it for both of them. So first off, the ST uh, last year came standard with the roof rack side rails and painted black. Uh, this year, 
it is an optional equipment. So I do like this change because what they're basically saying is if you want the sport look, you don't want the uh, roof rack rails, you want a, a nice performing vehicle, great looking vehicle, uh, then you don't have to have the, you know, it's not going to be standard equipment and no way to get those off of there. Now it's going to be an optional equipment for those that want it can have it, those that don't, it's all going to be standard equipment that way. Also on the Platinum, similar type of concept on the twin panel moonroof. Twin panel moonroof is not going to be standard equipment uh, this year like it was last year. Those that want all the luxury features, they don't want the twin panel moonroof. They don't have to have it. It's not going to be, it's going to be standard equipment without it, but it's going to be a standalone option for those that want that twin panel moonroof. They can add that to the vehicle, uh, and which was uh, now, which is now available as option equipment, not standard equipment on the Platinum. So five and six have to do with some different changes in some packages. Actually, five has to do with the change in the package, and that's your trailer tow package. So trailer tow package still available for this year. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, the major change on this is that the cargo management package was included in the tow package last year in 2020, not included this year. It is going to be its own package. So cargo management package, I think, uh, did get you the, the mat. It got you a bumper cover, and it got you maybe a, a cargo uh, a cover as well. Uh, on it that is now its own package will be available on all trims uh, from base on up uh, will be uh, standard equipment the cargo management package will be standard equipment on the platinum so uh, that's how that's going to change so your your tow package will probably include your hitch your wiring as well as smart trailer tow connectors and those kind of features there uh, so that's how that's going to break out for this year so now we have a cargo management package as well that's going to be available now, number six has to do with some different packages that are a dealer installed option packages uh, that we see, you know, in the past they call them dealer installed accessories. Uh, now these are packages that will show up under the packages uh, probably or down in the accessories section for when they have this building price up and going. So three of them that they, that they mentioned in the major changes for the 2021 model year uh, and all uh, come from Yakima. So Yakima does a great job of having some different uh, roof racks. And so all three of these are going to come with the crossbars to be able to, to uh, position those onto or fasten those onto as well as cargo mats. So they're going to include, the, that's why they call them a package. Anytime they include two or more options uh, to it or features, it's, they're going to uh, call it a package. Uh, so one of them is their Skybox package. So I'm pulling this image from their website. It's the Skybox 16. Uh, so you can see it's a hard shell. So you can put your luggage in there, close that up, lock it up. So that way it can protect your different belongings and luggage from the elements putting them up there and not taking too much of your cargo room. As you can see, there's not a lot of extra cargo room behind that third row seat. So if you're going on a family trip, uh, this could come in real handy for you. Also, another one they have is the Mega Warrior. Mega Warrior is a big basket that's gonna go up there, of course, uh, on the top with the netting. They'll go over that. And again, giving you an image from their website instead of Ford's website since they don't have it up yet on their building price. Uh, but that's a really nice, if you have a lot of luggage, a lot of things, and don't worry about the elements, maybe their suitcases, uh, then you can put those up there, uh, sleeping bags, whatever it might be, uh, and you can go ahead and put that netting over there and protect them and carry them that way, uh, giving you even more cargo carrying capabilities. Also, they do have a front loader, uh, is what they're calling it. Uh, it is basically a bike rack. So if you want, it's going to come with two of those with locks on those. So they'll go up there again so that you can kind of put those bikes in there, lock them up uh, and have them on the top of there. So you can carry up to, I think, two bikes because it's going to come with two of those. So that's going to be available as well. So again, don't forget all three of these packages are going to come with the crossbars to be able to, uh, you know, uh, put those systems onto as well as a cargo map that's going to go in the cargo area for you. So there you have it. That's all the uh, major changes that I had for you for the 2020 model year. Not too many uh, major uh, changes. Uh, we'll get into, we'll dive into our complete guides on each of the different trims as we get more vehicles in stock. Maybe doing one pretty soon on the XLT trim, so be looking for that. Uh, again, if you haven't checked out, we have all of our inventory on our website at lawmacarthur.com. Uh, there you can see on each one of our vehicles, uh, our internet price, as well as you can see pictures and, and a spin that's done on this uh, turntable here. Uh, so you can see an outside as well as an inside perspective on each one of our vehicles. Uh, so just uh, check that out uh, for any of our inventory on there, as well as you can call or send us a text message if you have any questions. The numbers are on the screen right now, as well as those numbers will be listed down in the description. 
Uh, and don't forget at any time on our website, we have chat service available. So uh, if you're on our website during business hours, you can chat with one of our coordinators that can help you out and give you any, any answers, any questions you might have there. And don't forget about a free shipping policy. We do free shipping about anywhere. So we have a lot of people that uh, buy vehicles from us all over the country uh, because they want to make sure they get the vehicle ordered the way they want it to from a dealership that knows the product and can have it shipped right to the door. So we do uh, free shipping. We do ask you to finance it with us. That's really the only thing we ask there. We do limit to thousand dollars which does get you get us to California gets us to Florida gets us to New York uh, within that thousand dollars pretty much uh, so uh, it'll cover you uh, if you want to do that too so it's a cost that's not incurred onto you uh, if you finance a vehicle anyway uh, it's just a cost uh, that's something that the lenders give us a kickback and we're able to pay for that cost for the shipping that way so uh, a lot of people taking us up on that offer so you can too if you're interested in a new Ford vehicle uh, you know, reach out to us. You can call or send us a text message. Again, on the numbers that I have listed down in the description. So, again, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified the next time I have another video upload to our YouTube channel. Smash the like button, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to share the video. I'd really appreciate it. And you can also find us on our social media sites. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So again, hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Hopefully got you some information for the 2020 model year, whether or not you want to go with the 2020 or wait for some 2021s to show up. Hopefully this video helped you out with that research. Again, thanks for watching this video. Till the next one, we'll see you later.